I won't be long, don't worry. You know, if the introduction is long, it means the sermon is I won't be long. Because my children had already done a lot of speed work for me, particularly yesterday, today, the evangelist started it the bishop crowned it glory be to God Hallelujah. and before I forget I think we should give the Lord a big round of applause for the choir they are the best. I want to tell you. In the whole world, there's no other choir like this. Nehemiah chapter 8. Verse 10. Nehemiah chapter 8. Eight verse ten. Then he said unto them, Go your way, eat the fat, and drink the sweet, and send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto our Lord. Neither be ye sorry. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. Nipa na ni o we fun won pe e lo e je ora ki e si mu odidun ki e si fi apa kan ipinranse si awon ti akopese fun nitori mimo ni ojo yi fun Oluwa e ma se banu je nitori ayo Oluwa oni agbara yin Whenever any man is successful. People will want to find out what is your secret. How come you are so successful? By the way, one of the things Daddy wants me to tell you is that nobody will be able to explain your success. My children have told us, particularly yesterday, that joy is not the same thing as happiness. That happiness is uh, what to get when something happens. But uh, joy has relatives. And the one of the relatives is called gladness. Uh, Psalm 122 verse 1 Psalm 122 verse 1 So it's, I was glad When they say let's go to the house of the Lord My children have told you that the joy we are talking about Has nothing to do with wealth because riches don't satisfy. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 10. Ecclesiastes 5 verse 10. And this simply in 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 7. 
First Timothy chapter 6 verse 7. Made it clear, we brought nothing to this world. We are not going to take anything out. The joy we are talking about has nothing to do with greatness. Or popularity. Jeremiah 45 verse 5. Jeremiah Orika Kanudini Adota Esekanu. Jeremiah 45 verse 5. Jeremiah Orika Kanudini Adota Esekanu. Once you do, don't seek great things for yourself. We must be one la fora re. Don't seek popularity. Oku ba se wa ke amoka kiri. Because it doesn't last. Dori ke ke tojo. This joy we are talking about is the joy of the Lord. As briefly as possible, I, I just want to add to what all those great ones who are spoken before me had said. The categories of joy and the strength that they produce because joy produces strength the joy of the Lord is your strength and strength is the ability to do work ability to do whatever you want to do so we start with regular joy regular joy I don't want to call it ordinary joy, but that's why I call it regular joy. You are supposed to have a dose of it every morning. Psalm 30 verse 5. Psalm 30 verse 5. Weeping may endure for a night. Joy cometh in the morning. You need a dose of joy every morning. Those, those. You changing. Because without that dose of joy, you won't even have the strength to do normal things. If you have seen people who suffer depression, Real depression. You find that they just lie down helplessly. They don't want they don't even want to go to the toilet. Thank God the bishop had already dealt with that. Because in the name that's above every other name, depression will become a stranger to you. When you get regular joy, you have the ability to do regular things. You will be, will be able to take your bath, go to your place of work, etc. etc. Now, joy produces strength. And one of the ways of getting joy is through hearing good news. 
Psalm 51 verse 8. Psalm 51 verse 8. He said, Make me to hear joy and gladness. That the bones you have broken may rejoice. In Nehemiah chapter 2. Verse 17 to 18. Nehemiah chapter 2 Nehemiah Verse 17 to 18 It is until the elders of Israel had good news That their hands became strengthened to build the wall of Jerusalem And in the name that's above every other name Somebody is going to hear good news today. I gave a simple illustration about how good news can bring strength. Some years ago, I told a funny story. Of a brother that we decided to call Brother Joe. Came back from work. Extremely tired. The mother greeted him. Mama Eki. And said, Oh, you're welcome. Uh, your food is on the table. On the table. He said, Mama, no, I'm too tired to eat. I'm going to bed straight away. As soon as he got in, the girl, Elizabeth by name, that is proposing to marry, came in. Greeted the mother. Okay, yare. I want to see Joe. When we Joe, Mama. Mama said, Joe is too tired. Joe, 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 Why they were talking? Be one saying sorrow. Joe had the voice of Elizabeth. Joe, back when we leave, Elizabeth, he jumped out of bed. He said, "Look, food, that day, let me be Elizabeth, you are here. Elizabeth, you today. Uh, I'm here. Why are you here? I just come to see you. Ah, please sit down. Joe ran to Mama. <laughs> uh, what can I do to entertain Lizzie? <laughs> Mama said there is rice. If you can cook. Ah, I will go. Mama said, Joe. I thought you say you are too tired even to eat. Joe said, Mama, you don't understand. There's somebody who hear good news here tonight. Write it down as your prayer point number one. And say, Father, speak to me tonight. Directly. Let me hear good news tonight, Lord. That will be your prayer point number one. And then there is something better than joy. And that is great joy. Great joy. When you read Luke chapter 2, from verse 8 to 16, Luke chapter 2 from verse 8 to 16. 
And the Bible was telling us the story of the birth of Jesus Christ. And he told us how the angels visited the shepherds at night. The angel said, I brought you good tidings of great joy. Psalm 21 from verse 1 to 8. Psalm 21 from verse 1 to 8. Tells us that great joy produces great strength it gives you the ability to do great things regular joy can give you enough strength to walk great joy will give you the ability to run and to fly for example in Acts chapter 3 from verse 1 to 8 Acts 3 from verse 1 to 8 when the layman by the beautiful gate got a spectacular miracle he was able not only to walk he was leaping and jumping and praising God there's somebody here today before we finish you're not going to walk out of here you'll be jumping all over the place when you have this thing called great joy you'll be able to do anything your heart desires to do for God I remember when we started here at this camp when we were building the camp because of the great joy we had that at long last this is our own camp we did things that several people will call impossible we built a house from foundation to roofing to plastering to painting to furnishing in seven days. I was supervising everything 24-7. There was no tiredness. something called great joy and as the Lord lives there's somebody who would experience great joy tonight and I want you to put down as your prayer point number two and say father Give me great joy. For me near your la. That will produce the ability. Dio for me near bara. To do whatever I want to do for you without any delay. Dio for me near bara. Last day she go to mobile first she phone. Last see that you know that be the law. And many a times you want to do things for God and you can't do it. Well, that's going to end tonight. Amen. And then there is something that is greater or better than great joy. 
ti o daraju ayo nla lo it is called exceeding great joy o na ni ayo ti o tayo something better than great joy is called exceeding great joy o to daraju ayo nla lo o na ni ayo ti o tayo in matthew chapter 2 Matthew ori ikeji you can read it from verse 1 to 10 eleka lati ese kini de ke wa matthew chapter 2 matthew ori ikeji from verse 1 to 10 lati ese kini de ke wa the bible spoke about the wise men who came to see jesus christ ibele so nipa ti awon amoye ti won wa jesus christ wa he said when they finally got to where he was they rejoice with exceeding great joy exceeding great joy gives you exceeding great strength it gives you the ability to go beyond far beyond the ordinary for example the first time i read deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1 to 13 Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 to 13 Deuteronomy and I read that the almighty God made a promise that a man can get so blessed that he will be lending to nations and he will never borrow that day i said amen with all my heart and i want to decree into the life of someone as the lord leaves a day is coming when you will go to the head of state and say how much is my country owing because i want to pay it off is anybody here who is uh, bold enough to say amen to that today by the grace of God the redeemed Christian church of God is in more than 190 nations of the world and Some people call Nigeria poor. We're from Nigeria. Missionaries are all over the world. Finance by Nigeria. Nigeria. Finance by Nigeria. 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 We are lending to nations. I say it one more time. There is somebody listening right now. One day, you will lend to nations. Amen. You will lend to nations. Exceeding great joy. Thank you, Daddy. Amen. <laughs> you know, God heard you when you said Amen. Because He asked me to tell someone anyone who complains when I begin to promote you will lose whatever He has. Amen. 
Now, exceeding great joy, Ayolalai, gives you the ability of one Yagbara to do exceeding great things. Lati she Olanla to Lagbara no back now. In Acts of the Apostle chapter five. Nenu si apostoli ori kanu. From verse fourteen to sixteen. Lati esse ikeni la de ikeni dini ogu. Acts five fourteen to sixteen. Si apostoli ori kanu esse ikeni la de ikeni dini ogu. Spoke out about great miracles wrought by the hand of the apostles. Oh, so ni pa wun she yano ti a wun apostoli she. But he went for that to say that in the case of Peter, his shadow began to heal the sick. I don't know who this one is for. But do you know that before the end of this month, anyone who stumbles into you will get a miracle. Amen. You had the testimony of my son from America. God's handkerchiefs anointed here. Took it home. Mix it with several other handkerchiefs. Gave one to his daughter. Oh, a former Benire Conicon. And said, Okay, you are far away from where the sick fellow is. You pay or not, if you told what you know, see, the ten year. Just put the handkerchief next to your phone. Taffy, more as on the jury, see our phone, and pray. Go up by you are. And anointing trouble through the phone. If I'm your royal. Oh, Lord, that's here, no phone. And heal somebody that the doctors have said there is nothing more we can do. Oh, Lord, when it's in the hour, don't get that. It's all one, one, no, yeah. Don't you sorry, you know, no, yeah. Oh, what's on? I have good news for you. Moniro, yeah, your phone. Very soon. Like, eh? With your own ankachi. But look, I saw you do it here. You will raise the dead. What do you put it in? Put it down as your prayer point number three. I do. I just call it. I get be cuckoo at Raketa. I say, Father. We pray, Baba. Please make me a channel of exceeding great joy. As for me, do we know? Oh, I your landla. See, I'm with you. Make me the channel, the, the true witch. Exceeding great joy will be flowing. And then there's something greater than exceeding great joy. Oh, thank you, Father. Now, I believe this is for me. <laughs> so I say, yes, Lord, before I tell you. The Lord said, before the sun rises, I will give you a taste of my almightiness. Amen. For us to fully understand joy unspeakable, we because joy is the opposite of sorrow. There is sorrow unspeakable. In Job chapter 3. From verse 11 to 13. Thank you, Father. I 
I told you he may, he may ask us to do some childish things. You kindly stand up. And with all your strength. And I mean with all your strength. I want you to shout. I will tell you what to shout. With all your strength, I want you to shout. Lazarus, come forth. Lazarus, get Daddy asked me to tell you. Daddy didn't suffer. Because you shouted. Every opportunity you have lost in life. Go, go and find me. Go to We begin to return from you. Go, go, and find me. Please be seated. <laughs> I, I, I was I was talking about uh, um, sorrow unspeakable. When you read Job chapter three, Job from verse eleven to thirteen. Job 3 from verse 11 to 13. The Bible tells us that when the friends of Job came to see him, they sat down for seven days and seven nights unable to say a word. I decree in the name that's above every other name. Sorrow will never come to your house again. And because there is sorrow unspeakable, there is joy unspeakable. First Peter chapter 1, verse 3 to 8. First Peter 1, 3 to 8. First Peter talks about joy unspeakable. Joy unspeakable produces strength unspeakable. It produces ability to do things unspeakable. It gives you the ability to perform miracles that is difficult to testify about. It gives you the ability to Psalm 126 verse 1. Talk about 
talks about what happens when God turns the captivity of Zion. He said, we are like them that dream. You know, there are miracles that for a long time after they happen, you will still think you are dreaming. There are some testimonies you are even afraid to share. Because they won't believe you. In Acts chapter 19. Daddy says there's someone listening to me. That is how we pay and come Benny to come in motion sorry. Up to now. This is the Akoko. Your testimony is about what God has done for you. He said from now on, your testimony will be what God has done through you. Amen. Miracles that when you, you find difficult to share the testimony. If Joshua were to tell some people, Joshua I stopped the sun for almost a day. I told the moon to stay where it was. <laughs> Some of his friends would laugh at him. And first experiences. When I was younger in the Lord. When I share the testimony, my, my brothers would laugh at me. So that I, when I grew up, I discovered that uh, there are some testimony. Just keep it to yourself. Some of you will remember the testimony of a young man. His auntie died. And he was walking here in Lagos. They embalmed the, the, the auntie. Before he could get permission to go home, it was 11 days. We got home, entered the room where the woman lay. The woman had a little child. We carried the little child, went into the room, took one of the handkerchiefs that we have anointed here, and laid it on the corpse. Prayed. And the little child was crying. Mama, get up. Mama, get up. And nothing happened. And the boy wasn't really expecting anything to happen anyway. He was just trying his faith. So, very sadly, he turned. As he got to the door, he heard the sound behind him and turned. And auntie was sitting upright. When he shared the testimony, Ah, 
I can see that many of you don't even believe it now. A lot didn't believe. But it was true. I have good news for somebody. Very, very soon. Like, like, you know. You will have testimonies you'll be afraid to share. Amen. You will not. Why are you ready? Tio, tia, ya wo ganle no to di le e room or bola ti so far way yon. So write down your prayer point number four. Oh, ya ko e koko adura keni ti e no le. Father, Baba, give me a testimony. For me nearly la. So big. To ma to bi to je pe. It will be difficult to share. Yo, yo, tia, so rough for me. That is so far away, dear. Give me a testimony. A miracle so big. For me, near where he said, "Ya no talk to be told yet." That it will be difficult to share. A rogue or more, you more by me. That is so far away, dear. And then there is something in Kantuwambe. Glory be to God. Oh God, if I I told you in my ask us to do some childish things tonight. Most of you continue Daddy says that is so we be in Exodus chapter four. Exodus Ori Kenny. When I asked Moses to throw down his rod, and he did, and he became a serpent, and I asked him to pick it, pick the serpent up. When he bent down to touch the serpent, Go for work, I do, yeah. His hand, his hand touched the floor. By the time he got up, it was not Moses who bent down who yes. got up. Yes, Moses to bere From the moment he touched the floor, nikete if you are working lele, he was never afraid of anybody again. Ereni Kenny Obama. From that moment onward, Lati Daniel lost. Whatever he touched prospered. Onko unto bagba wale lon shiriri. When he lifted that hand, nipa to be a one yes okay. The Amalekites were. Defeated. When he lifted that hand, the Red Sea parted. And so, will you be childish enough just to bend down and touched? Touch the floor and said, Lord, my hand has come in contact with your holy ground from now on. Whatever I touch, let it prosper. Then stand up and shout a big hallelujah to the mighty God. Have the faith of a child. By the end of this month, when you come for the next Holy Ghost service, <laughs> 
you will already be dancing for joy. So I, I hope you have written down your prayer point number four. Father, give me a miracle so big I will I'll be afraid to share the testimony. Baba for me, say you are not to be to to be to take me and go more by me. Let's jerry the fan way. That brings me to the last one that I want to share tonight because uh, you're going to pray tonight. Going to pray. There's going to be one or two special ministrations before we go. Whew, thank you, Daddy. Hallelujah. Again, I want to say amen to this before I tell. First one, you see me people carefully. Daddy asked me to tell someone. Daddy, Nikki, suffering your corny. As long as there is water in the ocean, ni a fun igba iwon igba ti omi ba nbe ninu okun. Your anointing will not run dry. Amen. If I'm your roro yan re ko ni be. There is something, please, uh, please, there is something more or greater than uh, joy unspeakable. And that is as long as there No matter how great your joy may be, Koni fi se ba yo resele to bito. It's not good enough if it is temporary. Koda ato to ba je pe ayo lere fe ni. In Job chapter twenty, ni no we Job ori ogun. Thank you, Daddy. Hallelujah. Daddy says there's someone here. Daddy, so we pray any company. You've always wondered what is a miracle like. Oh, 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 come on, y'all. Let me pick it up. We gone. It's a yano. So I'll give you one very soon. Amen. Oh, 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 for any con like that. Oh Lord. Hallelujah. Again, I want to say amen to this one. Daddy says Daddy, so we pray. there's someone listening to me. He said he will send you two destiny helpers. Amen. He said only two. Make it better anymore. And they will be more than sufficient. In Job chapter 20, from verse 4 to 5. Job chapter 24 to 5. The Bible says the triumph of the wicked is short. And the joy of the hypocrite is for a moment. Once the use of uh, Joy, if it doesn't last. And the Bible tells us that it is possible for your joy to last forever. 
o se se fun ayo re ko je titi ayiraye she when a man goes on a journey ti eniyan ba rin ni ajo there are three possibilities on kan bi abayo meta lo wa either you may never return from the journey boya ko ma ti e pada mo lati ni ajo to ba lo yen like goliath for example fo apere biru goliath he went on a journey o lo irin ajo ni be never came back because he lost his head ni ko pada wa le mo tori o pada nu ri e another possibility is to return with sorrow ona mi tun ni keyan pada de pelu ibanu je root chapter 1 gege bi we root ori kini from verse 19 to 21 es kokan dilogun de kokan le logun root chapter 1 from verse 19 to 21 root ori kini es kokan dini ogun de kokan le logun and when now me said don't call me now me no any more call me mara because uh, there's nothing to rejoice about ndira nipa ti na o bi ni so wi pe kan ma pe o ni na o mi mo sugbon ki won ma pe o ni mara nitori po so to mu nu ndun it is possible to go on a journey and return with everlasting joy be si ni o se se keyan lo irin ajo ko si wa pada wa pelu ayo kikun ayo ayiraye I think I would I would tell you a little story to help you do what God wants you to do next. Ma so itan kan fun yin lati ran yin lowo lati se o ti Olorun fe ke se. One of my daughters turned 50. Ikan lara won mo mi o pe omo adota odun. And oh it was wonderful. O da o re wa to be ge. After all the celebrations, she said to me, "Daddy, if I had known that being 50 is going to be this sweet, I would have become 50 sooner." So I said how will you do that? Ba wo lo mo wa bere lo pe ba wo ni wa se se. I just go to the newspaper and put an advertisement. O ni ma kan lo sinu iwe iroyin ma si so iro se. Tell them they say I made the mistake concerning my date of birth. O pe ojo obi mi ti mo so tele yen o o da bi pe ko 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 dagara we mo sasise lori e. So if I had Changed my day of birth. I would have become 50 earlier. It was just we make parole. Just don't be mean. But if you are my daughter, don't say it. So I too do not know that being 80 will be so sweet. Oh no. Well, you know, my quick idea, my organ, your do, we bear you, my do to see all the love that you have shown me. Go go into my city, go go effect everything on me. Now I don't want to become eighty earlier. I I want to become eighty again. Amen. He said, "We must fight the organ, your do. Shall do a go go into the bank, but to fight the organ, organ, your do see." So maybe in about six months time you will read in the newspapers. But you need to come to me first. What you see? That I will say I wasn't born in 1942, but 1943. But you come out and you know paper. We are doing 1942. Come one beam. We are doing 1943. In you. So you can celebrate another 80. That's why the chemical rire or don or don or don be a gun. You don't let can see. I told you that story. 
Because God asked me to tell you. to Laugh. Laugh. <laughs> Laugh, oh, laugh. Hey, yo. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Daddy asked me to tell you. Daddy one in Sophomore. He asked me to tell someone. One in Sophonicony. Who just laughed. That for every day of sorrow you had known. I will give you a month of laughter in replacement. Now go ahead and laugh. <laughs> I think you can laugh now. Oh Lord, thank you, Daddy. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Isaiah chapter 51, verse 11. Isaiah, Ori Kokon, Lini, our daughter, Ese Kokon, huh? Even though this is for me, I, I will claim it for all of us. Amen. 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 The Lord said, when we compare where you are now to where I'm taking you, it will be as if you are in the wilderness now. He tells me to add, Your days of wilderness are over. Amen. I want you to give you a good one. So I saw 51 verse 11. I say, I already got a lady, I don't I say, I got a lady. Says, the redeemed of the Lord shall return. And when he rapped, all who are you, Father? And come with singing into Zion. One was his only, Peluri. An everlasting joy. I joy, I never shall be upon their heads. Yes, you are Lori Who are those who have everlasting joy? I want only. I want to money. Are you in the pecking? He said it clearly. Oh, so bang the redeemed. I want a near pada. So you can put it down as your prayer point number five. Lord, I am your child. I am your child. I am redeemed. I am Let me be a partaker of your everlasting joy. Now I'm going to stop there. There are other things God wants to do. I won't come in better. But 
I need to get out of his way so he can do some of them. But just in case there is anyone here, probably you came late, you were not around when they made the first altar call. But you were there, you see me, but you want to pray, you want to pray for you, you want to pray for you, you want to pray for you. And you are not sure of your salvation. You're not sure you are redeemed. Only the redeemed. We have a share of the everlasting joy. So if you want to surrender your life to Jesus. You want him to redeem you. You want his blood to wash away your sin. I will count from one to ten. And I won't be slow. If you want to give your life to Jesus, Boba Jesus. Before I say ten, make sure you are standing before me. Come and stand before the altar. Whether here or in the old arena or in your various viewing centers. I'm counting now one, two, eight. Almighty God, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for your word. I thank you for these people who have come forward to surrender their lives to you. Please receive them. Forgive all their sins. Let your blood wash them clean. Write their names in the book of life. Let them become the redeemed of the Lord. And please uphold them to the end. Don't let them backslide. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. The Lord asked me to tell someone in particular. The doctors will not be able to explain your healing. Oh, yes, I was on rare. You're so rough, and when Dr. Lati shall I yet. He also asked me to tell someone this. That you came here tonight with some charms. Hmm? He asked me to tell you that the charms are already neutralized. <laughs> But that if you don't get rid of it quickly, they will become like spiritual snakes biting you. So I want to advise you, wherever you are. You know. There are some big baskets in front. I understand that they put them there for anyone who may want to give a gift to the general overseer. So you can pretend that you want to give the general overseer something and uh, drop that thing in the basket. 
ko se bi pe ebu lo fe fun baba wa la moju to agba so gbogbo ondi ati igba nu tin be lowo re ko wa ko won le now it is time to pray adura akoko adura la lo kan nisin sin yi if someone were to tell you ti eyan kan ba so fun o that everything you pray about here today will be answered. Will you pray with all your strength? Mm. Now you have written down five prayer points. You're going to add two. One will be praising God. You will start with that. You thank him for whatever he had already done for you. And then you add the five that you have written down. And then you put as number seven. Whatever you want as your personal request. I wish I could give you an hour to pray. And we are running out of time. The altar is open. As many of you as can find the space. I think I will give you 15 minutes to cry unto the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The Almighty God will grant your request. You will hear good news. Everything your heart deserves to do for God. It will be easy for you. You'll be a channel of exceeding grace job. Miracles that are difficult to share. God will give to you. You will make it to heaven. Yeah. You will end well. You will end strong. You won't know sorrow again. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Let someone shout hallelujah. Say hallelujah. My father, my God. Baba, me at your me. I know you are true. You are faithful. When you speak, it is done. Lord, I'm waving my hand now to all these your children. Everything they need to make their joy full, give to them now. As for every handkerchief lifted to you now, even including the dress your children are wearing, saturate them with your anointing. So 
mightily that wherever each one is used, yokes will be destroyed. To beg, to get a bit, 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 don't let them ever lack again. In Jesus' mighty name, we are afraid. Now go ahead, wave your, wave your light. Wave your handkerchief. Let the devil see that he has already lost the battle. Just keep on shining for the Lord. Wave it again. Let, let the heavens see. A new beginning for all of you. And your light will never go out. You just keep shining for the rest of your life. So shall it be. The joy of the Lord shall be your strength. You'll be partakers of the everlasting joy. Wherever you go, God will lighten your ways. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Uh, wave that light a little longer. And then shout a big, big, big hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Hey.